with the new theme builder since Divi 4.0, it's now really easy to make custom footers uh, and even apply them to different page or post types or even individual pages. So first of all, we're going to have a look at uh, this with an example of using a custom footer here. First, uh, log in and go to Divi Theme Builder. So we don't have any layouts set up yet, but we can start with the default website template, which will apply to all pages and posts. Uh, and we're going to add a global footer. So select that one there. We can build a global footer or add one from the library. So if you already have one in your Divi library that you've created elsewhere, you can go to your saved layouts and simply select it. And there it is, save changes. And then let's have a look. And now we've got a custom footer. Uh, you can also, let's just remove that, you can also build it from scratch. You can here as well choose your pre-made layout, so again something from the Divi library, uh, or you can build something from scratch. Um, again, you can still import from the library, uh, or you can make something totally new. Just by building as you would with modules. So this allows for a lot of options. So a custom layout, but also means you can build something even if it wasn't that custom, but you can build with Divi modules instead of having to use WordPress widgets. Uh, so it means you could create a, a totally custom uh, footer with no code involved. So that's quite nice. Uh, I'll just uh, pop in. Now, if you'd like to use um, short codes for the copyright symbol and the year, the current year. We do have a post on that. Uh, it, does, it does require some code though, uh, of adding the short code to your theme files. Um, but yes, uh, here we go. So there's a custom for it. Obviously this one's quite boring, but you can play around and make it as interesting as you like. Save it. Exit. Now, if you've got an existing template that you're just editing, the, the changes will already be saved uh, from changing it within the layout here. However, if it's a new one, like we just did, uh, where we removed this whole footer and started again, then you will need to save changes here in order for them to go live. So, boring footer, but you, you get the gist. So you can create whatever you want in there. Um, now, one of the great things about this is you can also create uh, separate lay uh, separate layouts for different pages or post types. So, for example, we want to add a new template. Let's say we want all of our blog posts to have a different footer. So, here's the global footer. It automatically adds that to new templates. But we could keep the same design, disable the global, and go in and edit it. Uh, so, say you want it exactly the same but with one extra feature you can go in add that and save okay, we haven't added anything extra here uh, but you can go ahead and do that or you can add a totally different one perhaps one from the library so say I want the boring simple footer on all the pages but on my blog posts, I want a custom footer which has the newsletter sign up. So let's just have a look at this now. So here's a post and you can see it's got the custom footer. And just to show you again, I'll just reload that page and here's the home page and it has the simple footer. Uh, so there, there we go. That's just an example of how you can create a custom footer in Divi now. No code necessary if you don't want to use code and also have different footers for different templates uh, applied to different parts of your website.